Hey there everyone, it's a riff here from on Microsoft and today I just want to showcase to you the new tab interface in the file explorer in Windows 11 build 25136. Now I had a little bit of trouble enabling this feature and even getting it because Microsoft is A B testing the feature in the dev channel of the Windows Insider program. They mentioned that they are rolling this feature out so it isn't available to all insiders in the dev channel just yet and they want to monitor the feedback and see how it lands before pushing it out to everyone but I found out on Twitter that you could use a third-party tool called Vive tool if you want to enable the feature because it is there in the build and it's just disabled for some people but with this tool you could download the tool and search for the code and enable it uh, I have the code right here in a sticky note if you want to check it out and enable it. You just basically search for the feature, select the build, search for the feature, and click uh, the perform action button and then type in this code and change it to enabled and you should be good to go. But anyway, with that said, let's dive in here and take a look at the new file explorer in Windows 11 with the tab interface. As I open it here, you could see that file explorer in Windows 11 now has this tab interface at the top of the title bar. You can click this plus button and open different tabs for your various folders or various files. So here, if I, right now it's at the home tab, which is a new experience in Windows 11. Home uh, quick access has been replaced by home. So by default, you get this home tab. So if you click the plus button, you could open various different tabs for say here, my downloads folder. And open another tab here for my pictures folder and open another tab here for my this PC folder uh, but right now in this early version they are limited and you can't move the tabs around like you would in Microsoft Edge or any other web browser or even in sets like it was in Windows 10 Other than that, you could still open new tab file explorer windows if you want to. Just click Ctrl N like usual and you'll be able to open your new file explorer window. But the point of this is that it is designed to improve your multitasking. So say if you're here in a notepad app, if I open notepad and I'm typing and you want to check on something a file or something you want to open something from your downloads you click downloads but if it uh, by mistake it was oh it's in my pictures folder you can open a tab and click pictures and have both of those open and browse through them simultaneously without messing up your taskbar and having a million different open file explorer windows in your taskbar that's one reason that i really really like this new tab interface you should also notice that in this new File Explorer tab experience, the sidebar has been cleaned up a bit. So now that these uh, common areas like desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, and videos, they're kind of grouped with a cleaner divider line here to make it look more easy on the eyes. You could still resize it if you want, but the point is that Microsoft is cleaning up the sidebar and getting rid of that look that has been present in Windows 8 and even in Windows 7, and they're moving it forward and cleaning up the design a bit. But other than the tab interface in the Windows 11 File Explorer, another new feature in this build that's actually hidden is this new search widget in the Windows 11 taskbar. Again, you need to enable it with a Vive Tools command, but once it's enabled, you'll see that you have a search button in your taskbar, kind of like the one in Windows 10 at the lower left hand corner of your screen right next to your widgets button here and then if you click it it just opens the search box in the middle of the screen like it normally would so nothing fancy days there it's just basically a sh quick shortcut to opening search and speaking of search recently in the windows 11 insider dev channel builds microsoft has been testing this search bar on the windows 11 desktop right now i have it disabled but if i right click and i click show search you'll see that this bar will pop up on the desktop and and it's always there and just like the search box in windows 11 what it does is basically if you type something in the box it's gonna show you that drop down menu of your results but if you click enter it's gonna open edge and take you to a new microsoft edge tab so basically it's a shortcut to opening edge and searching the web or going to a url without actually opening edge
And one more quick thing here to end this video. I just want to showcase a new little nifty feature of the copy and paste function in Windows 11. Here if I go in a notepad and I have I just typed out these two things here. I have a date that I typed out as well as a phone number. So now on a date, if you highlight the date and you click Control C to copy it, you'll see that you'll get this new pop-up menu here and it has suggestions to add the event to your calendar or open Outlook. So then if I click here and I click calendar, it'll open my calendar, the UWP calendar app. And again, I could go back and click here and Outlook, the Outlook icon, and it will open Outlook in the background and take me to my Outlook calendar, which I don't have set up right now. And for the second part, here I have a phone number that I just randomly typed out. And you see here, if I copy this phone number with Control C, you get a little drop down menu again, and it's suggesting you to call it. You, it shows you you could call it using phone link or you could call it in Microsoft Edge and if I click the phone link button it opens the phone link app here and I could I could actually dial it using my Surface Duo because I have paired my Surface Duo to my Windows 11 PC and uh, again it's very convenient and another nifty feature in Windows 11. All that said thank you again for watching another one of my videos and I hope to see you again soon in another video sometime soon. Thank you again everyone, subscribe to On Microsoft for more and see you again soon.